guys, it's Michaela. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing like a get ready with me kind of video. 90s grunge look is what I'm going for. So, yeah, let's get into it. First thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. But since this is a 90s look, I'm going to keep them pretty thin. So I did this brow off camera because this is my troublesome brow. Like, this is the bad one. So I'm going to do this one on. Are you freaking kidding me, Will? Hello? What? I'm making What's a video. Oh, uh, I love you. I love you. You record? Yeah. Put me in there. I love you. <laughs> I love you. You're beautiful. Bye. Don't cut me out when you edit it. <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, adios. Bye. No, don't hang up. Can you I just like, you wanna watch? No, I love you. Goodbye. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, so I did this brow off camera because this is my troublesome brow, but I just threaded my eyebrows, so so if you want a video on how I did that, then just let me know, but yeah, I'm gonna fill in this brow now, but since I'm doing a grunge kind of 90s vibe look, I'm gonna do them kind of thin. This is thin for me because I just threaded my brows and I'm not like going outside the lines normally when my hair would grow in. I would have to like fill in where my hair is and it'd be like super bushy but today I'm going to just fill in where my hair is inside of the lines. Okay, now that my eyebrows are done, I'm going to head into my eye makeup. For this look, this grunge look, I'm going to do more of a, um, well, I know I'm using my dupe naked palette. I'm going to take the lightest shade on the end and I'm just going to use my finger and put that all over my lid. Okay, so now that that color's all over my lid, I'm going to take my fluffy brush, just the blending brush, and take um, a nice warm brown color for a transition shade, and I'm going to put it in my crease. Okay, so that's how I'm going to do the other side now. Now I'm taking this really dark brown shade, and I'm just going to put that in my crease and deepen it, and then work it upwards to... Um, Make my eyes appear bigger, I guess. <laughs> so I have that in my crease and it's Blend it out. I'm going to take that same brown shade, that dark brown shade, with a smaller brush and I'm going to go underneath my lash line and I'm kind of going to smoke it out a little bit on the uh, lower lash line to give it that grungy look. Now I'm taking that lighter brown shade and I'm going to put that on the outer part just to give it that gradient effect. And now I'm going to take this black shade, that hip pan, and I'm going to put that in the inner corner, or outer corner. I'm going to put that on the outer V of my eye. It just kind of gives it some depth, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, this look may be a little bit harder for me since I have hooded eyes. It's not going to look as intense, I guess, when you have deep set eyes. It just makes it look way more intense, okay. I'm not going to be adding any shimmer to this look since it is grungy. I just kind of brought it down lower since it's a grungy look. Now moving on to my face, I'm just going to be using my MAC Studio Fix Foundation, powder foundation, in the shade NC50. And I'm going to take that and just buffer it all over my face.
And I'm going to just take the foundation and kind of put that under my eyes instead of um, using a concealer. Because I don't really, I'm not a fan of that like really brightened up look underneath. It just, I don't know, I just don't think it looks that good on me, so I just, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> but, but you can do it if you feel more comfortable doing it. I just don't feel like comfortable doing it, I'm sorry. Next, I'm going to take this blush by MAC. It's called Sincere. It's just this really like neutral tone, like has a little bit of orangey coral vibes, but it's not too much. I'm not gonna use like the red blush today because that's a little too much for a grunge look. But yeah, I just like this blush because it's kind of just like a bronzer to help make me look colorful. <laughs> Next I'm going to be using just this dark brown shade from my MAC palette. My customizable palette and I'm going to be contouring with that. Okay, now that I'm done with that, I'm going to be taking my mascara and uh, this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I'm just going to be taking that and putting it on my eyelashes. Obviamente. But, uh, yeah. And I'm really contemplating on whether I should put um, falsies on with this look. I'm kind of leaning towards a knot because my natural lashes look kind of long today. So. Yeah, these are my natural lashes. Bro, look, I gotta show them. I'm like ecstatic. Look, look at how long they look. I'm gonna add this blush color to my lid. Give it a little more. <laughs> Okay, so after I just added the blush, um, I'm going to highlight now. So I'm taking my Laura Geller, I'm taking my Laura Geller and I'm going to put it on the tip of my nose, right here. I'm not going to over highlight today because this is a grunge look, so I don't want to make it too glam, if that makes any sense. So I'm just gonna highlight a little bit there. That's good enough. <gasps> I just put in the wrong thing. And that's it. Okay, so what had happened was I, I finished the video, but then I realized that I didn't put on any lipstick, so I kind of filmed a little bit of the outro, but then I had to redo it. So yeah, I know I'm in shambles. I'm just gonna show you what I did to my lips and then I did my outro. So this is what the lip liner looks like by itself, but I'm not going to be wearing like this. So on top of this lip liner, I'm going to be using this drugstore lipstick. It's called Cinnamon. This is the shade, I guess, or number you can go by. But yeah, I'm going to be applying this color all over my lips. Actually, I'm only going to apply this color in the center because it's pretty light. And I'm going for a dark, vampy kind of look. Okay, so I'm going to try this NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick. Um, hopefully this is the right shade. I don't know. I'm just testing out lip colors because I never really do a lip. But since this is like a full, full face, I'm going to do that. Oh, it's going to be dark. I'm just going to do like an um, ombre kind of thing. this I'm kind of liking it it's alright okay it's like it's okay color doesn't really go with the vibe I was trying to get but whatever I was looking for more like this color reddish maroon looking but it's alright okay that is the finished look I'm gonna go put on my clothes and I'm gonna be right 
best. Okay guys, so I'm back. I put on a shirt. This is my complete outfit. And I did my lips. I forgot, so I might have a shirt on at the end of the video. But yeah, so if you like it, then please leave a like. It helps me out a lot. If you're not already, then subscribe. And when you subscribe, make sure you hit the little bell next to it so you can get notified when I post a video. And if you do want to see a video on how I do my eyebrows, how I thread them by myself at home, then make sure you let me know. Just leave a comment down below or you can DM me on Instagram or you can message me on Snapchat. Either one, I'm pretty active on both of them. And you can also follow me on Twitter because I'm... I have a Twitter, but I'm not as active on Twitter as I am on Instagram and Snapchat. Might as well follow me, Amelia. You don't have to follow me on Twitter, but yeah. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!